In English, the recipient role is usually marked as the object of the preposition to. In Clallam, unlike English, the recipient is never marked as the object of the preposition. In Clallam, the recipient is marked as the object of the verb. So in this section, you'll learn the details of how the role is expressed in Clallam. So in the sentence, I gave the money to you, the subject I is the agent, the one doing the action. The patient is the money, which would be going un undergoing the action, and the participant receiving the action is you. And we'll call this role the recipient. So let's go over the model sentences. I'm going to swipe I'm going to swipe You folks give me the money. I'm not swipe I'm going to swipe You give us the money. I'm going to swipe I'm the tourist, what's that color? Um, you folks give us the money. I'm the tourist, why that color? I'm the tourist, why that color? I give you the money. I'm the tourist, why color? I'm the tourist, why color? We give you the money. I'm the tourist, why color? I'm the tourist, why color? And I give you folks the money. I'm not sitting high at the tower. I'm not sitting high at the tower. We give you folks the money. I'm not high at the tower. I'm not high at the tower. I give him the money. I'm not sitting at the tower. I'm not sitting at the tower. We give him the money. I'm not at the tower. I'm not at the tower. You give him the money. I'm not at the tower. I'm not at the tower. And you folks give him the money. I'm not high at the tower. I'm not high at the tower. Then he gives him the money. I'm not at the tower. I'm not at the tower. So if you compare this set of models and the one in the object pronouns video, Notice that the objects and subjects are the same. You notice that. The verb angit, give, works just like the verb quinangit, help. There is just one important difference, and I was hoping you can describe that difference. The difference being in this role of the object suffix, in the object of quinangit is the patient, the one undergoing the action. In these models here, the angit, the role of the object suffix, is the recipient. In Clallam, the recipient is active sentence always indicating as a direct object. In sentences with both a recipient and a patient, the patient is always the object of the preposition a. Ah. Let's compare recipient patterns in Clallam to English and see how the two languages really differ. In this layout of the first model, you give me the money shows the roles. Anga, anga would be the root word. You see suffix for recipient. You is the agent and Satala, the patient. Let's compare recipient patterns in column to English to see how the two languages really differ. In English, we can express the first models in two ways. You give me the money, or you give the money to me. In English, as these two sentences show, the recipient can come right after the verb, just like an object, or it can be the object of the preposition too. In English, the patient, which is the money in this case, either follows the recipient or follows the verb. In Clallam, there is no choice. In Clallam, the recipient is the object of the verb and never the object of, of the preposition. With recipient verbs like give in English, the patient is never the object of a preposition. With recipient verbs in Clallam, the patient is always the object of the preposition. Here are a few vocabulary words that take the recipient object. Akust, teach to someone. Akust, a eat, a eat, lend to someone, to use or return to someone. Kweust, spill or throw liquid on someone. Kweust, kleetust, kleetust, sprinkle or splash on someone. Kleetust, kayust. I used pay to someone. Kwangayust. 
Kwang ayust. Kwang ayust. Lend something to someone that can't be returned. Samust. Samust. Sell to someone. Tikust. Tikust. Wave to someone. Get soost. Get soost. Tell or give news to someone. And huiamust. Huiamust. Tell a fairy tale to someone. Note that most of these words ending in oost, this is a suffix that makes the recipient verb from another verb. For example, kwai, kwai means spill or capsize. When oost is added, it becomes kui oost, as in kui oost sin, I spilled on you. Note that you here is the recipient. Also, all of these verbs with oost have roots that are used elsewhere. Two others are kui oost, which is related to Suiam, story or fairy tale, and yet Tsust, which is related to Sietsam, news. An interesting recipient verb is Samust, to sell, or sell, which is related to Sami, blanket. The connection is that in the old days, blankets were a form of currency, so to take a blanket to someone means to give something to someone in exchange for blankets. In other words, to sell something to someone. A short explanation of the difference between a eat and kwangust. A eat is used for lending a thing like a canoe, which can be used in return, whereas kwangayust is used for lending a thing like money or food, which aren't directly returnable. So a eat incidentally also means to put away or store for a later use. <laughs> And that's it for the first part of recipient, beneficiary, and other participants.